Welcome to the Walk Boldly with Jesus podcast. I am your host, Katherine Duggan. I created this podcast to inspire you to walk boldly in your Christian faith. Each weekday, I will talk about scripture and how these verses can relate to your everyday life. Spending time each day with the Word of God is a great way to fortify your faith. I'm so glad to have you along on this journey. Let's get started. The title of today's episode is, You are destined for all things and will rise victorious. The scripture verse is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13. Because of this, you must wear all the armor that God provides, so you're protected as you confront the slander. For you are are destined for all things and will rise victorious. I looked at several different scriptures for this morning's devotional. There are so many good ones in Ephesians. I don't know why I never saw them before. Or maybe I did and the Lord is just showing me them again in a different light. I'm not sure, but I love it. I saw this verse first this morning and then I went back and forth on a few others, but my eyes kept being drawn back to this one. I know a lot of you are going through some really hard things right now. And what I felt when I kept being drawn back to this verse was that God wants you to know that you will rise victorious. He wants you to know that this thing you are going through, the situation you are in, it will not take you down. This illness will not be the end. These financial matters won't be the end. Your estranged loved ones, this is not the end. You will be victorious. You will be healed. Your loved ones will be healed. The Lord will provide for you to pay the bills. You won't be estranged from your loved one forever. Whatever it is you are struggling with this morning, I feel the Lord wants me to tell you, you will rise victorious. The last part of this verse made me think of a song I saw in a movie called Pitch Perfect 2. The song was sung by a group of Germans who were competing in an a cappella singing competition. This song came into my mind because their performance was so powerful. They projected such strength when they performed the song. This is what we must do when we are dealing with the enemy. The verse says that we must put on all the armor that God provides us so that we are protected when we confront the slander. Make no mistake, the slanderer is the devil. Of course, he won't look like the devil. He will look like someone who cut you off in traffic. He will look like the person spreading lies about you. He will look like your coworker or your boss. He might look like your children or your siblings. Whoever it is causing strife in your life, the enemy is working through them. I want to read you the words of the song that popped into my mind this morning. As I know, it's not a coincidence that when I read this verse, this song came to mind. If you want to see the video on YouTube, you can type in DOS Sound Machine Car Show and it should come up. Here are the lyrics. They will not control us. We will be victorious. Paranoia is in bloom. The PR transmissions will resume. They try to push drugs that keep us all dumbed down and hope that we will never see the truth around. Come on. Another promise, another seed. Another packaged lie to keep us trapped in greed. And all the green belts wrapped around our minds. And endless red tape to keep the truth confined. Come on. They will not force us. They will stop degrading us. They will not control us. We will be victorious. At first, these lyrics might not seem to make much sense. However, If you think about them in terms of what the enemy is trying to do to us, they make much more sense. The first line goes perfectly with this verse. They will not control us. We will be victorious. The devil, the enemy and his evil henchmen will not control us. We are God's children and we are protected. However, we must put on our armor of protection. We must call on the Lord. We need to give him permission to protect us. We need to read the scriptures so we know when the enemy is lying to us. We must stand in truth. 
The next verse says, Paranoia is in bloom. The PR transmissions will resume. They try to push drugs that keep us all dumbed down and hope that we will never see the truth around. Come on. This may not fit perfectly, but when we really think about it, we can see how the enemy is trying to make us feel paranoid. All we have to do is listen to the news for a few minutes, and we can see all the craziness going on in the world today. Also, it says they try to push drugs that keep us all dumbed down and hope that we will never see the truth around. How many of us know someone who has struggled with drug or alcohol abuse? We know it is all around us, yet do we know it's the enemy who is pushing it on us? Do we know he is trying to keep us on drugs so we don't see the truth all around us? When we use drugs, when we drink, it alters our state of mind, and we don't see things as they really are. The next verse of the song says, Another promise, another seed, another package lie to keep us trapped in greed. And all the green belts wrapped around our minds. An endless red tape to keep the truth confined. Come on! How many people in our lives have promised us promise after promise and not kept them? How many times have people in the government or any authoritative power promised something and yet it never happened? I like how it says, another package lie to keep us trapped in greed. This is so true in the world today. The enemy will tell us anything we want to hear to keep us trapped in greed. The world is all about how much we have and how much we can get. It's not about giving to others. It's about making sure we have what we need despite others. Next, the song says, In all the green belts wrapped around our mind. And all the green belts wrapped around our minds. And endless red tape to keep the truth confined. Do you ever feel like this? Do you feel like the information we get from the news, social media, and YouTube are all just feeding us what we want to hear? Sometimes I feel like the truth is impossible to find. It's always hidden in someone else's opinion about what happened. It's very hard to find the facts about the actual incident. The truth is harder and harder to find these days. The chorus of this song is one I recommend we use as a mantra any time we have a rough day or any time the enemy seems to be overtaking our thoughts. It says, They will not force us. They will stop degrading us. They will not control us. We will be victorious. We know this is true because the Lord tells us this in Ephesians 6.13. We will be victorious. The enemy cannot force you. This is one of those things the enemy doesn't want us to know. If God is willing to be bound by free will, you better believe the enemy is also. He likes us to think that he can do whatever he wants to us. And yet if we tell him to leave, he must leave. That is a fact he doesn't want us to know. You are so much more powerful than you know. The enemy is trying to keep this from us because he knows the game would be over if all of God's children started living in the power that the Lord gave us. If we all stood up to the enemy and said, No more. I am done with your games. I know you can't hurt me because I am a child of the one true God. I know you have no power over me. I know you are a liar and I refuse to believe your stupid lies anymore. Can you imagine what type of world we would be living in If we were all able to do that, it would be glorious. I don't want to leave this verse today without addressing the beginning part of the verse. My eyes first went to the part that says, you will be victorious. And I think that's the message that God wanted me to focus on today. Yet I also want to make sure you heard the first part too. So I will end with that today. The verse above says, it is important to wear the armor that God provides Because you are destined for all things. You have a destiny and it is an amazing one. You know how I know that it's an amazing one when I might not even know you? Because the enemy is attacking you. The enemy doesn't care about those who are lukewarm or those whose souls he thinks he has already won. The enemy attacks those 
who he is worried will do great things for the kingdom. The enemy only attacks those who are powerful warriors for the Lord. You, my friend, have an amazing destiny and you will be victorious. I know you can't see a way out and you think all is about to come crashing down on you. You don't know how your loved one will come back to you. You don't know how this illness will be defeated. You don't know how you will pay your bills when your paycheck can't possibly cover it all. I get it. We can't always see how, and we don't need to. All we need to do is believe the Lord when he says we will be victorious. We can just thank him, praise him, and wait for him to work all things for our good. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to bless all those listening to this episode today. Lord, I ask you to protect our mind from the enemy. I ask you to help us to believe that we will be victorious. Show us how to put on the armor of God, Lord. Show us how to protect ourselves from the slanderer. Help us to walk in our victory, Lord. Help us to have hope that even though we don't see how, you will arrange all things for our victory. We love you, Lord, and we ask all of this in accordance with your will and in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey to walk boldly with Jesus. I am so excited to announce that the registration site for my retreat is now open and ready for you to register. I will put the link for the registration below in the show notes. The link will have all of the information. The retreat is October 11th to the 13th, Columbus Day weekend. It will be Friday to Sunday this year. It will be $250. That will include two nights stay at the Holy Cross Retreat House breakfast, lunch, and dinner on Saturday, and breakfast and lunch on Sunday. It will also include tea, coffee, and water throughout the whole retreat. There will be mass, retreat talks, fellowship, and so much more. I hope you will join us. It was an amazing retreat last year, and I pray it will be even better this year. The theme for the retreat is come as you are. We tend to think we need to wait to turn back to the Lord, or to sit and pray with the Lord until we are all cleaned up. This isn't what the Lord wants. He said, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, not all who are perfect. Come and spend the weekend learning about how much the Lord loves you. Learn to sit and talk with him and hear him talk back. I hope you will give it a try. Retreats are not just for those who are super holy. They are for those of us who want to be closer to the Lord, who want to feel the Lord more in our lives. I look forward to meeting you here again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you just as you are, and so do I. Have a blessed day, and may the grace and favor of the Lord Jesus Christ be upon you. Today's word from the Lord was received in March 2024 by a member of my Catholic Charismatic Prayer Group. If you have any questions about the prayer group, these words, or how to join us for a meeting, please email catholiccharismaticprayergroup at gmail.com. Today's word from the Lord is, Arise, I say, arise. Declare my works. Declare my love. Declare my glory and majesty. For as my majesty is, so is my tender mercy. Arise and stand and declare my love and mercy to all you meet.